Hi guys, thank you for joining me for Christian Education Kids Edition this morning. This is a beautiful Sunday morning. I hope you get a chance to get outside a little bit today because it looks so nice. So today we're going to talk about a story out of the Spark Story Bible, and it is called Jesus the Vine. Jesus wanted people to know more about his love for everyone. Jesus said, think of the plants in the garden. I'm like a vine. The branches are joined to the vine, those that grow fruit. The branch can't grow fruit without being connected to the vine. When you're joined with me in love, I help you live the way God wants you to live. Jesus continued, God is the gardener watching over the vine and its branches. The gardener makes sure the plants have all they need to live and grow. We understand, the disciple said, it's important to love you and stay connected to you, Jesus. But what else is important? The most important thing Jesus told his disciples is to love each other the way I love you. When you do, God will know and will give you everything you need. So basically, Jesus was talking about plants. We know something about that because we eat plants all the time. So here we've got a bunch of grapes. One fell off. And this bunch of grapes is not connected to the vine anymore. So it's done growing fruit, right? But we can imagine if it was still connected to the vine, it would keep growing juicy, wonderful grapes. But once you disconnect from the vine, you get dried out, wrinkled, not so juicy, kind of like this raisin. So we don't really want to be the wrinkled raisins and dried out. We want to be juicy and healthy like the grapes. And that's what Jesus is saying, is that if we stay connected to him through prayer and through reading our Bible, going to Sunday school, um, helping people, doing service, all of those things will help to keep us connected to Jesus. And then we will be showing love and we'll be spreading God's love to people. And that's a pretty cool thing. Now today for your activity, you may have noticed a few things in your bag. In your bag like this. And one like this happens to have some seeds in it. Yours might not have the um, picture on the front. That's okay. You still have the seeds inside. And a little pot. So what you guys are going to do, let me make sure everybody can see okay, is first of all, there's holes in the bottom. So if after you plant your flowers, you want to water them, don't do it inside. Go outside with it so you don't get water all over it. And also, there's holes in the bottom. So some of this dirt is going to go through a little bit. So be aware of that. It, it's not the cleanest of crafts. But essentially, you're going to pour your dirt in. It's really not clean at all. And it's really dry, dry, dry dirt. So after you plant your seeds, you're definitely going to want to water this outside. Now there are wood chips in that in here, but that's okay. It actually helps with drainage. So it actually makes the dirt a little bit healthier. Now you're gonna take your seeds and you're gonna put them about a quarter of an inch down. I did open this, you can tell it's open. Here we go. And here are my seeds. And you probably have seeds like this as well in your bag. And this is plenty of seeds. Now a quarter of an inch, like half your pinky fingernail. So sprinkle them in. Take a little handful of dirt. Sprinkle it in. Just covering them. Like I said, no deeper than half your pinky nail. And then go outside to water it. Keep watering it and keep it in the sun. Give the plant everything it needs and you will have beautiful flowers that remind you to give love to everybody else and that Jesus is the vine. I hope to see you guys tonight at check-in at 630. Please join me. I will see you then and in the meantime, enjoy the beautiful day. I hope to see you at church. Bye.